Previously on Extreme One Chunk Varlamore Edition, we finished the bazaar and rolled our new chunk. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Fuck! God damn it. God damn it! Oh. God damn it, dude. Oh, that's the worst. Let's be honest, there's really only one thing to do in this chunk. That's to get the curve bone. Let's get to it. Well, we've got a lot of killing to do. I guess we should just get started. Oh, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. That's Biss. We did it. That's like as early as we possibly can, basically. There's no way that just happened. There's no way I got that unlucky and then proceeded to get that lucky. That's crazy. That's the bit. This is the best sword we can get. We got it right away. What's that? KC3? Fourth KC. Let's go. Best in slot sword achieved. Hey, 31 attack. Let's go. There's 38 combat though. And 32 attack all at once. 18 prayer. Let's go. And there's 34 hit points. 39. What was that? 39 combat because of 33 attack. Let's go. We're getting there. 34 attack. Coming on in. 35 attack. All right, let's switch it to strength and we're going strength to 40 guys there's 29 strength which also gets us 40 combat 35 hit points let's go that was 30 strength just coming in right there ah all right this is the first of many i went afk taking my dog out just letting him out the door and i wasn't gone for more than 15 seconds i feel like but somehow i died all right well on our way back i guess all right and i just missed it but that is 20 prayer which also puts us at 41 combat i think the only things that we're not going to keep are probably shield swords helmet dagger pretty much everything else on the table either stacks so we'll collect them or they're like herbs which probably never use but in the event that we do use it we'll want them 32 strength i missed it of course that's it all right just hit a hit points level so that's 36 hit points which also puts us at 42 combat uh current update we're 125 kills in we have not gotten a single curve bone or long bone obviously both of which right a long bone's one in 400 and a curve bone is one in 5012 and a half got a long ways to go i expect to go over on the drop rate i don't expect to hit drop rate or go shy i feel like it's just fitting for spoon to never be spooned so my guess i think i said on stream was like 9600 or something in that area all right well, i'm not gonna get overly excited on this because it's obviously the lower of the two clearly we want the curve bone we'll probably get oh look at that timing 21 prayer at the same time uh we're probably gonna get like a handful of these right like logically you should get like 12 13 before you get the curve bone so nice to have off the list not uh overly happy that we got it because it's like it's just an obvious one all right guys i messed up um i picked up a bone and buried it and it was the long one i was supposed to the wrong one i was supposed to bury the big bones and not the long bone i buried the long bone minus one long bone say it in the chat put it in the comments i'm an idiot all right and let's go spoonie mrs dude 22 prayer hey we just got a freaky forester random. That means I've got another lamp, which means I'm never gonna be able to use it. Hunter, boom, 25, sorry, 27. I forgot I got those two. 27, we're getting there. We're gonna lamp this until like, I don't know, depends on how fast we get through this chunk, but like 16 is probably our goal. We'll lamp it to 16. That way we were one before Puro Puro. And then I'm hoping we finish this chunk by then. And then I'm able to roll potentially like a Jerboas. That'll, cause my currently I have to do Puro Puro until 57. If I get Jerboas, then I could do it until 46 because I can't get a box trap until I can buy it from this shop at 46. So yeah, that's the plan. And of course, nobody else would expect anything less. 37 strength. We're three levels away from our 40 goal before we back over to defense and get defense to 40 we'll go attack to 40 and i think our actual order will be strength attack defense because i'm not getting hurt that bad so actually after strength i might just go straight attack to 40 and then down to defense all right so two things yep missed it hit points 37 that helps us get closer and closer to 40 which once we hit 40 that means our sweet corn will actually heal a little bit better so that's nice but the second thing is, uh, I've noticed that this spot's actually pretty good um, for like the period of time where they're aggressive. It seems like if I just stand here, I pretty much always just have like a stream of them coming in, which means I don't really have to do anything. It's kind of nice. All right. Just hit 38 strength and 44 combat. Sadly, these like were in auto retaliate, so they just go away right away. There's no chance of me getting them, but I got it very quickly. So clout that as a bonus for me. All right. There's 23 prayer. 
20 levels left until we have all of our overheads. <laughs> Saying it like that makes it seem like it's not that big of a feat, but keep in mind it's the exact same as crafting, which um, is 50,000, 15,500, and we are currently at six. So, <laughs> got a long way to go. Phoenix Peter time. And that's 39 strength. We'll get one more strength level and then we'll switch back to attack. These guys aren't really, uh, hey, loop half a key. These guys aren't really, like, giving me much trouble. Um, I keep having to like drop food over and over again because I don't know, I guess I'm bringing too much food. Um, I only brought like 15 or something, maybe 20. I think maybe I brought 20. So I think next time I'll bring 15. Um, and then when we start getting defense levels, I'll probably have to start taking even less to be honest. And that was 38 hit points coming in. Now you got a Leo random. You might as well empty your bank as, or empty your inventory as well. So why not, right? And of course, that was the first zombie random we've had. So that gives us pants and the gloves. I think that was the first one we've had. Let's triple check. Uh, I lied. We had uh, boots and chest the last time. So we're only one away. Nice. So of all the randoms, we have five things left. One, obviously, is still baguette. That's going to take forever. But zombies, we need the mask. Mimes, we need the top and the boots. And beekeepers, we need the gloves. We're doing pretty good. I feel like we're getting through that a little quicker than uh, most people. And uh, boom. There it is, 24 prayer, yeah, 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 41 strength. I just realized I've been going overkill on the strength. That's not a big deal. Actually curious if that's potentially a max hit. I'll keep my eyes on it and look. I don't think I need to pull up a calculator and look, but go and we'll go and uh, switch it to attack. We'll start to an attack now instead, like I should have been doing a long time ago. These kills are getting slower just because I'm killing them before they respawn. Eventually, I'll be able to sit here and I can just full AFK and just not care what hits me because I'll be able to take very little damage. But for the early stages, until they get de I kind of have to sit in this safe spot and let them come at me one by one. Once it's de-aggroed, then I'll I go out and do this. All right, good morning, good morning. I'm just sitting here AFK in a little bit. Uh, 39 hit points just came in during that last kill. Too bad. We got three more levels in attack, then we'll switch over to defense. I'm excited to do the defense to actually see if I notice a difference with how much I'm eating. All right, we just hit 25 prayer, burying that last bone from the other kill. We're getting there through the prayers. I'm actually hoping that this grind takes a little while because I'd, I'd like 43 prayer. I want to get 30... 43 prayer uh before we're done with this curve bone see if my wishes and dreams come true i keep the recording going for this kill curve bone in three two one three two one three two one okay, i'm not gonna hit how many zeros in a row is this curve bone never lucky all right rats chunk danny on 700 but at the same time he got that i got attack level 38 boom there is 47 combat coming from our 39 attack one more attack level and then we'll switch over to defense and give that a whirl until about 40. All right, we just hit that 40, nice even number 40 attack. We'll now switch over to defense. So these kills will probably go a little slower just because we don't have that hidden bonus, but we'll get this to fit, uh, 40 as well. And then hopefully we'll start taking less damage, can make longer runs too. All right, and we just hit 26 prayer. Not too bad. Not too We're getting there. The prayer levels are going to start taking quite a long time though. This next one's going to take 66 kills, so it's going to start really ramping up here. For the prayer, I think the last couple will probably take a couple hundred kills each, so see how it goes. But regardless, uh, obviously we're here for foreseeable future. So no sense crying over spilled milk when you need them anyways, right? All right, so I'm just sitting here with Cockshunk, a.k.a. Agile Tom. We're just chit-chatting. So I missed a couple levels here. I'm just going to quickly run through them. But hit points 40, combat 48 came through. Defense 35 just a little bit after that. And I think there's one more. Yeah, defense 36. So that's the update. We're at 36 defense. Yeah, we're working to 40, like I said. All right, so I missed a couple other ones while I was talking to. You, so we're going to run through this. Uh, 37 defense, 38 defense, as well as 49 combat, 27 prayer, and 39 defense, as well as 41 hit points. I think that's it, though. Yep. We're getting there on 40 defense, almost there, and then we will switch over back to strength, get that to 45. I might actually check like a DPS calc or something to see what my max hit is and see when uh my next level max hit would be. And I'll just, I'll just do strength until that probably, and then go back to attack and then back to defense. Clearly I missed it because I'm a third the way through the level already, but that's 40 defense coming through. So we'll switch this back to strength and we'll do some strength training for a bit. I did definitely notice a difference with uh food. I'm only taking 15 food, I think is what I did on this inventory. Instead of, I think I was doing, I did a full inventory at first, so that's 24 because I had these three pots, which 
I should pot up real quick. Then I decided to go down to like 20. Then I was using 20 and having trouble with like still dropping food. So then I switched over just recently to 17. And then while doing that defense, I dropped down to 15. So I just did 15 on this inventory. And it seems like it's a good number so far. We'll see uh, as we go and, and see where we end on the inventory itself, whether I have a couple slots open or not. May or may not need to add or remove a couple of food. I have noticed like this inventory, for example, I haven't gotten a lot of individual unique drops, but I've gotten multiples of them, right? I've gotten like four of these onion seed drops or something and like two or three of these arrows. I think most inventories I'm getting more variety and less stacks. It might be a case where like we just got lucky on this one. I might actually need to take less food. We'll see at the end of uh, this inventory in the next one. We'll see. All right. So we just got 28 prayer, which also put us at 50 combat. Not, not too bad. Nice even number. And just after we got 28 prayer, we did get a lamp. So I will throw this lamp on hunter after we kill this guy all right and here is the lamp we're gonna again throw it on to hunter boom 10 more hunter xp we're still 46 away yellow way guys guys i did it i did it i did it 42 strength let's go so i'm not really sure if i got this or not uh but the scroll up a little bit just to see i got 42 strength i think we got that one with 28 prayer and then we've also got 42 hit points i think we got that one too 43 strength that's the latest 44 strength came through with 51 combat 29 prayer grab this real quick and then we just got one 45 strength and we're going to switch this back to attack we'll do attack for five and then defense for five see you guys in a little bit i'm just sitting here hanging out see all these gz's I'm like what's going on well it's me i got 600 total level that came from 41 attack and 52 combat all right i'm just sitting here editing episode seven all alone and we just got a count check so we will quickly kill this guy and then we will throw this onto hunter and that gets us just a little bit closer 36 left so um pretty much four of anything and level one of hunter and continue to lamp it up until 16 i think decide what we want to do all right and we just got 31 prayer i don't know if i'm updated or not so while i switch my attack style over but let's just do a super quick one 45 strength 45 attack 44 hit points 31 prayer 40 defense and that is what just what we just switched to we will do 40 uh defense training until we hit 45 and there's 41 defense no sign of a curved bone in sight as expected we are significantly under drop rate currently for those curious this is 833 uh, actually, this will be the 834th Hill Giant kill. Um, when it comes to some of the important things, we got four giant keys, two long bones, and of course, you guys saw it a long time ago, the loop half of key, which is actually, uh, I found out after the fact, and I guess never recorded it, but it's actually more rare than the long, or the curved bone. So, certainly got spooned on the loop half, and naturally, that means we will get uh, dry on the curved bone. So I'll see you guys at like 20,000 KC or something. All right. And we just got 42 defense. These kills, uh, you'll you're gonna, you probably see a big time gap between like the last level and this level. I had to edit for, uh, I was editing episode seven. Editing episode seven. And then in order to do that, I had to make the intro outro. Uh, little snippets and of course roll the bond winners and stuff. So a little bit uh, delayed on a little bit of kills here, but today's gonna be a little bit slower of a day. I think we're probably, I don't know, 500 kills maybe today. I don't really remember where we ended the last yesterday, but uh, we're at 864. This will be 865. I did ask uh, the CC, hey, when am I getting my drops? Uh, one person said next kill. That was wrong. Wet slop 2511 and Unka at 5,000 is one is what I got. Of course, I had uh, about 10 or 20 people that said something in um, the stream during the chunk picking stream too. But hey, if you're not there on the chunk picking stream, uh, the, the spoon on Twitch. And of course, if you're not subscribed here, please do subscribe. Hit the like button, comment below and hope you stick around and enjoy the content. And if you don't, also still comment below, tell me what you do and don't like about the, the videos, right? I mean, all criticism is good criticism. So um, even if you think it might be rude, that's fine. I can take it, I got thick skin. I'd rather hear from it and make changes to uh, please the audience as opposed to um, sit here and just make people mad. So appreciate your time. Let's get this curve out. Holy crap, everything coming in at once. 43 defense, 45 hit points, and 55 combat. 
all at once. But boom. All right. See, now these are randoms I like to see. I want all the Evil Bob randoms so I can get to that 40 fishing as soon as possible. All right, let's see what level this gets us. 15 fishing. Let's go. Massive. I'm starting to fall asleep. It's midnight. 32 prayer. I'm definitely falling asleep because I got this. I guess it'd be like last kill. Also, I'm sitting here getting multied. An idiot. 44 defense. I'm doing this inventory and then I'm going to bed. We got another long bone. It's the fourth one we've gotten. The buried one. By the way, these are 1 in 400. We've gotten four of them in 900 kills. 936. It should have been 1600 kills. So we're going to go very dry. Between this and the loop half, I'm pretty sure we're going to get to like the actual 9600 I said before. Which, if we're getting to like 9600 like I estimated, that means we're almost 10% uh, through. So there's that. Okay. So we just finished that inventory. Not bad. This is about, I would say, average. I mean, other than like, oh shoot, I have food, whatever. Other than obviously having a long bone. It's not uh, normal necessarily, but this is pretty typical the rest of this. Getting a good amount of law runes, getting a good amount of cosmics to be able to do the enchants on all our jewelry, which is nice. Uh, nature's for high elk eventually is also really great. Kill count, we're at 967. So we'll end uh, basically 45 base stats with 32 prayer and 45 hp so i'll be back tomorrow to hopefully kill another 500 or so uh might be a little bit of an early day for me but we'll uh definitely get some in first good night all right we got another exam guys get through this and throw it on to hunter all right and boom throw it on hunter 21 away so we're one book and one lamp away or sadly three lamps or two books so just sitting in Discord with uh, Cockshunk and Chunky Thorpe, so I'll get this level. Anyways, uh, we got defense 45, so we switched over to strength. We'll do strength to 50. I might pull up the max hit calculator, or DPS calculator, and um, see what our max hit will be. I want to say it's probably going to be somewhere like 56 or something. I'm not sure if I want to go strength all the way up there or not. I'll probably do 50, 50, 50, and then do strength to max hit, but... If it's like 52 or 53, then I'll just go for it. All right, so I just got out of a maze random. Uh, that's why I have quite a bit of fire and air runes. But when I got back, I killed one uh, hill giant and got a book. So we'll throw it on Hunter. And that means we are now one book or one lamp away from level two Hunter. All right, and there it is, 48 strength. I think I got 47. Well, if I didn't, there's 48 and 47 and 46 and whatever else I might have missed. Two more. Do we switch? Actually, no, I lied. I did a DPS calculator. 51 gives me another max hit on accurate. So we will go to 51 on the strength. Then we'll go to 50 uh, attack and 50 defense and go from there. All right. So we got a quiz random. We'll finish this and see what we can get. All right. And myths and please. We actually got it. Holy sh! Oh my gosh. Okay. This, um, this changes everything. I'm not going to lie. I need to, we're doing strength training. So we're just going to jump straight in with it. Holy crap. This, this might change like XP rates like crazy. I'm, I'm going to go but look at the DPS and everything. Now that we got the myth sim, let's take a look at the DPS calcs. This is accurate, which is about a 50% increase in DPS or slash again, uh, basically a double the, the DPS at its current rate stab, not as good, but 25% increase. We'll take that. And for defensive, again, basically a 50% damage increase. With all this DPS increase, it obviously we're going to get higher XP. I think before I was getting somewhere in like the 8, 8.5k XP per hour. Yeah, 8.5, 8.7k, somewhere in that range. XP per hour on strength. I'm going to reset it and uh, we'll see what we're getting now. I would expect we're probably somewhere in the order of like 13k or something. This is like huge, huge, guys. Huge. Guys, the other portion of this that is so important for the myth sim is that we're also going to kill faster, right? We got to remember we're killing stuff faster. So the DPS increases one thing, right? We're just getting more XP per hour. But that also means we're going to eat less. So I wouldn't be surprised if I actually fill this inventory before I can even eat the rest of this uh, bass now that we ran out of swordfish. But that's crazy. This changes everything so much. I don't think anybody actually realizes how important this is, especially if we go dry on the curve bone. The longer we use this weapon, the, the better it's going to be. Spooned. Like, actually, we got spooned. Feels good to say that. Even though oh, I think we actually got spooned. I think that was my sixth, fifth or sixth quiz, uh, fifth or sixth mystery box. And I think we got it. So I think we barely got spooned. Crazy. Very happy. 47 hit points, which also puts us to 57 combat. So it's pretty good. These guys are 28, which means um, we now are no longer, they're no longer aggressive to us with that level. Or they shouldn't be rather. We're two level, uh, two extra 
level. So we should come here and we shouldn't have to sit in this spot anymore. We can just kind of float in the middle and just click and kill. Um, it does kind of actually slow us down maybe a tiny bit because I did AFK this a tiny bit. Like I would queue up like two or three and then I'll just sit there and let auto retaliate kind of go through it. Now we can't do that, but that's okay. Uh, also, we just hit uh, 34 prayer there with the those bones. So and 49 strength. Look at this clip. This is crazy. This, this is not like Shmoon. I don't do this. I'm crazy. It's the myth sim, guys. That's what it is. Update to the plan. We're going to 50. 50 now gives us the max hit on accurate. So we will do that and then um, switch over to attack and then and then defense. And then we'll reevaluate the next max hit after that. If it's within range, like maybe 57, 58, something like that, we'll probably just do strength all the way to that, which um, I think most people would be happy about. I'm actually a little bummed. I liked when they were more aggressive because uh, it means I could just kind of sit in one spot and let them train in. And so now I've got to be a little bit more attentive to this. But you know what? That's that's why we play the game right so back to it i don't know if this is just the effects of the myth sim or not but after this kill will be the second food i've eaten and i've already almost like filled my inventory halfway like i'm getting to the point where i'm about to start having to juggle items because i'm killing them so fast i think next time i'm just gonna bring 10 food i brought 12 this time though so like i don't know maybe five maybe like seven i don't know we, we need to figure out how much food we need to bring though because these inventories are getting longer and longer which is amazing Less running to the, the bank. Those like three chunks that we have to walk. The less walking, the better. What am I doing? Classic spoon misclick. This is exactly what my point is right here, right? We just finished killing like two more and then we got a limp wart and a uh, fire rinse. So like inventory slots are a premium now with the myth. So we'll adjust and make sure we bring enough food to get a full inventory of stuff or like close to a full inventory of stuff. Also, we like need to assume that uh, this long bone probably won't be here. And same with the giant key, probably don't get either of those on every inventory. So we'll see as we get going. So update on the XP per hour. We're sitting at like 16.3, 16.5, somewhere in that range. Hasn't been a full hour, obviously, but that gives us close enough that while we're here, that's what we're going to get. We'll lose a good significant amount walking back and forth to the bank because we don't have nearly as much run energy now because we're killing them faster and we need to move around to get them as opposed to stay in one spot and let them come to us. But uh, yeah, the XP per hour is basically doubled almost uh, almost completely doubled. And that's in part between I've already got a max hit because I'm on uh, potions and whatever, but also just the myth sim is crazy game changer for the account completely at least for this grind and who knows i probably will never get the addy so probably forever so i've been holding on to these empty vials just because i never know when i'm gonna need them but now that i think about it like we're not gonna be able to use herb lore for a long time until we get to birth orb and can actually do the quest on top of that like by the time we get there hopefully we have camp to rum unlocked which already has an herb lore shop in there that sells vials or anywhere else really so i think with that logic i'm gonna start dropping these and save the inventory space when we get towards the end of these that way i can just stay here longer it just makes more sense i think also there's a I think it's this chunk has a vile spawn. So at an absolute minimum, we could just world hop the 20 times it'll be to replace these vials that we're dropping or something like that. All right. And as you can see there, we just hit 50 strength. Not too bad. It also puts us at 58 uh, combat as well as 625 total level. Doing pretty good. We'll switch over to attack now and then we'll train that to 50. And then we'll also switch back to defense. All right. And we just got 46 attack and there's 35 prayer. Oh, I'm learning. I'm learning. Boom. There it is. 47 attack. And we just hit 48 hit points, which also puts us at 59 combat. Just a second ago, we got 49 attack. One away from 50 until we switch it over to defense. All right. There's some GZs going on. Those GZs are for me. I got 50 attack, which is also 60 combat. So we will switch this back over to defense. We'll go defense to 50. All right. As much as it hurts my soul, fiance's on our way. I got a, some dinner. We're going to end it just shy of 46 defense. And uh, we'll be back maybe a little bit tomorrow, more than likely um, on Monday. But we'll see. If I'm back tomorrow, you guys will see it. All right. I lied. I had a tiny bit more time. Uh, so I'm here just to kill a couple more and one more hit and here is pop up 46 defense just starting to do a little bit for the day i've got between like I don't know, maybe four and five hours today like four hours something like that so we're getting through it a little bit but uh defense 47 just came in and uh that makes us combat 61 all right we got a few key forester retails bop shoop de doop a lamp and hunter four ba -ba -da -ba. Level two. I definitely missed these a while ago. I'm pretty sure, but I think we got 40. Yeah, we got that one. 37 prayer, 48 defense, and then we just hit 50 hit points. This level is pretty nice because it actually gives us an extra HP if we eat sweet corn. 
if we ever need to eat sweet corn, which I'm hoping will unlock the West Chunk or the Dairy Cow or the Dairy Buffalo, whatever they call it, so that I can get the potato with tuna and have that as my best food anyways. But in the off chance we need cooked sweet corn, every HP is good. Apparently, I should have just kept that rolling because it was a couple seconds later. 49 defense. Uh, we're going to get one more just to keep it a round number. However, I did some calculations. Increasing this defense actually doesn't change a dang thing on these hill giants anymore. I don't think it did until like up until about 40 or 45, but... It's okay, we'll just call it as ignorance, but whatever. Moving forward, though, we're going to essentially raise up strength until max hit, and then I'm going to raise attack all the way to 60. 60 gets me to like 80 or 81% hit chance accuracy. Then once we hit that 60 attack, we're just going to strength until we get curved bone. All right, so I started to like kind of pack these in. <laughs> like I'll, I'll tag a couple and then kind of hide in the spot and just kind of let it AFK a little bit. It's kind of the same method as I had before, but they're not aggressive, so I have to do it manually. But why will... While we were doing that, we hit 50 defense, which also is 62 combat. A couple of GZs in the chat. Appreciate everybody. But for now, we're going to switch back to strength. The max hit is at 57. So we'll do this until 57. And then we'll switch to attack till 60. And then strength to oblivion. Go curb bone. All right. So I wasn't paying attention. Classic, dude. Classic. All right. So this is, uh, we got a mime, right? I don't, can't remember if we needed one piece left. I think we need, we definitely need the chest. And I think maybe the boots. But I don't know. I'm not going to lie. I wasn't looking <laughs> again. What am I doing? Did I get that right? Oh, man. I'm a bad gamer. That's crazy. Let's pay attention. Okay. Anyways, I know I need the chest and I know I need the boots. I can't remember if I need any more emotes. I'm hoping I don't. I'm hoping this might be our last mime with rewards and then we can start getting more lamps, but we'll find out at the end. Does anyone else hate how long it takes for this dang mime random? Like, if it didn't have lamps and, and good rewards, we'd all ignore it, right? Like, look how long it takes, man. It's crazy. Aw, oh, man. All right, we want, we got the lean emote. Let's take a look real quick. Okay, that's the last one. That's the last of the mimes. Then we just need checking. Right, so we need the chest, the boots, and that last emote, and we're good. Still need zombie head, still need beekeeper gloves. And I'll never get the stale baguette because... I just, I'm not lucky. All right, we got another level that came in. That was 38 prayer. That puts us four away. Of course, I also missed uh, 37 for the first ever overhead. We are five levels away from the last overhead, which is actually what's important. Like the magic, the protect from missiles, probably actually, or uh, protect from magic is probably not actually going to help us very much. I don't think there's very many magic based monsters in my area. Immediate chunk, obviously, there's Coliseum, but regardless, we're looking for uh, protect from melee so I can start flicking and, and stay here longer and potentially just not take any food. That's 51 strength. Honestly, like, I'm setting this up so I can just go AFK for like a couple, I don't know, a minute almost at a time. So I'm just not really paying attention, like, at all. I don't know if I got 51. If I didn't, here's the clip, got 51. And I just hit 51. Uh, that was for strength. This is 51 for hit points, so there's that. I always make this clip, and then, like, I just, it's really hard to pay attention to this bar. 52 strength, 63 combat. I'm not gonna lie, I'm a bit behind, but I was waiting for the strength level to go back through it. I actually don't know if I'm, like, crazy, crazy behind, but definitely 39 prayer, probably 53 strength as well, and maybe even 52. The overall update is uh, 54 strength, 39 prayer. That's probably gonna be the last couple levels. Oh, 51 hit points, and we're getting close on that. But that's probably going to be the last levels that we get today before i get off it's 12 25 in the morning so getting tired well i think this is as good as time as any to update on drop that is the seventh long bone we've had in 2173 kills so little bit spooned on that aside from that i've hit the rare gem drop table multiple times Five rubies, eight sapphires, three emeralds, two nature talismans, two, the two loop halves, of course, which don't even get me started. That's that's harder to get than the dang curve bone, and I've already got two of them, so that's fun. I think that's it from the gem drop table. The other notable ones, sorry, two snape grass drop, which is the hardest seed to get, rarest seed to get rather, and we've got 12 giant keys, which I think puts us actually like under drop rate on those. Yeah, we should have like 17 of those or something or 16 of those. So we're a little dry on giant keys. Of course, can't complain until you're over drop rate. So we're just gonna continue to grind through it and uh, see you guys when I'm actually dry. All right, we just hit 52 hit points. 
which is also 650 total and 64 combat. Not too bad. Just uh, one or two kills ago, we got 55 strength. I think that's the last one I've had for a while. Yeah. So 55 strength. Boom. All right. Well, you're seeing that, right? That's Rune Javelins, which is the third one in 5K I've gotten. One in 5.4K for that matter. We had two loop halves. Now we've got rune javelins. Also means, oh, luckily we, okay, we could wield them. I thought, I'm not gonna lie, I thought it was a, a higher level requirement. Is there no re level requirement for this? I have to look it up. I just had a, actually a pretty rough inventory. I got slapped around uh, much more than usual, but on our way back, on just before getting into the bank, I hit, as you can see, 40 prayer. I buried the last bone I had and it was just barely enough to get us in. 40 prayer, that is project, uh, protect from missiles. We now have uh, just three more levels to get all the overheads which is really the goal we have here. Obviously, big bones are just good enough that I'm just going to continuously bury them throughout the entire grind. So one more overhead. Let's go. So I haven't been as attentive doing this, but that was 56 strength. And that was a long time ago. You could see I'm about halfway to the next. We are getting close to a hit point level. So that'll probably be the next one we see. And just as expected, that is 53 hit points, which also puts us at 65 combat. All right, so I missed it. 57 strength. So we switched over to attack. Again, we're going to do attack to six. 60, then we'll go back to strength and just do strength until we get the curve bone. All right, we got a quiz random. And I think at this point, we're just hoping for lamps and never lucky. Old boot throw in the bank though. Why not? All right, so I actually have an excuse this time. I got that quiz random right after I hit 51 attack. So miss 51 attack, but just a second ago, we hit 41 prayer. 54 hit points. We are also 53 attack. I think I missed that one. And if I miss 51 or 52, there's 51, 52. <laughs> but yeah, we're going to keep going again. Attack until 60, so we got a ways to go. Our next update. Scroll up, see what we got here. I think I did 53 attack. Uh, 54 hit points I think I might have missed. And just recently we hit 54 attack, which also gave us 67 combat. Oh boy, what a random to get, guys. I'm not going to lie. I was very AFK doing editing for a new... Well, actually, you guys have already seen it, but the intro for the series, I was editing that, not really paying attention, and I had a dunce. So, luckily, I came back in time. We got the dunce. Let's throw it on to Hunter. Of course, it gives us 30 XP, but it's not nearly enough to finish the level, but we're getting partly through level two, so we'll continue to throw all the lamps and books we get on that. All right, this is the last mime random we should need. Hopefully, I'm assuming it gives us both the pieces that we need left, not just the uh, top or just the boots, but hopefully both. All right, and there it is. We were right, the mime top and the boots to finish the set. And that puts us one closer, or actually two closer to finishing the random events. We just need one Leo and one beekeeper random, and then we will finish the collection log, of course, of outside of the uh, stale baguette, which we'll never get because I'm just not that lucky. So while we're here, I think I missed a couple levels. We're up to 56, about to be 57 attack, 55 hit points, and 42. Ooh, how about 43 prayer? That is the last overhead we need, which is huge. We can now technically sit here and flick if we want to flick. Listen, I suck at this game. <laughs> I don't know if I'm going to be able to sit here and flick all the time. I'm going to lose my prayer bunch. Obviously, I have altars, so it's not that big of a deal, but hmm, debating on if I bother, you know what I mean? Uh, there's 57 attack. I think I'll give it one more, one like actual inventory and have an attempt and see what happens. The annoyance is when I run out of prayer, I need to go all the way back over to here to this altar. And I don't have this altar, which if I had this altar, it'd be even better. So yeah, I might give it a go. All right. So quickly wanted to go back through what has happened. So we got the 50 or the uh, 43 prayer and 57 attack. We ended up hit just hitting, uh, actually not just, but a little while ago. Uh, 58 attack and then actually just recently we hit 56 hit points which actually puts us at yeah at that also i'm getting nerd timered just a second ago we got 59 attack that means we got one more attack level before we get to 60 and then we'll switch back to strength indefinitely until we hopefully eventually get this darn curve bone and we're also pretty close to 44 prayer all right we're just here obviously killing more hill giants but we hit 44 prayer all right and we just hit 60 attack which also gives us 70 
combat. Again, 60 attack was very good. That gets us, I think it's 81 point, like 2% hit rate, something like that. We're going to stay there at 60. Like the increase from 60 to 61 is like not really worth the amount of XP that you need, as opposed to just continuously grinding strength for us to get extra levels or uh, extra max hits rather. That's what we're going to do. We have 50 defense, 60 attack. Those will remain the same for the rest of this chunk, unless the off chance we get 99 strength, which please, Jagex, please no. But we will train strength until we get this curve bone. All right, so I think I missed two levels probably. Uh, let's go back, take a look. Yeah, so there's 57 hit points and then probably just a little bit before that, yep, 58 strength. That is all we've uh, gotten so far. Uh, we did get a maze random a bit ago, so we've been going through those potions. Just finished the a evil Bob random. That should put us to 17 fishing. We just hit, not too long after our evil Bob random, we just hit 45 prayer. I just finished editing episode 8, so that's why I missed quite a bit of of uh, levels. rather. However, we did hit 59 strength, and I don't think I missed it, but we are 57 hit points at this point going well these are the last doses of the potions i think actually specifically i don't have any attack left i do have strength and defense but i don't think i see a value with using them unless i have all of them uh, realistically the defense really doesn't do anything here but also should have just left it rolling but we're at 4145 kills obviously no curved bone yet otherwise we wouldn't be here honestly it's okay though because the xp is good and we need to get some stats up anyways so it's not a big deal there it is strength 60 Combat 71. As much as I want to keep going, these will be the last two kills of the night. It says April 24th. It's not. It's April 23rd. Well, I guess it is April 24th, but it's 1 a.m. So end of day six, 4,305 hill giants, 60, 60, 50 for the stats, 57 HP. We'll get 58 tomorrow. See you guys on the flip. That was three beer drops. All three of the ones I just killed, three beer drops. Oh, <laughs> baby. Look at this. Sportus receives new collection log item. Curved bone, 24th collection item slot. It is there on the ground. Let's go. You know what that means, guys? That means we've got a couple of very small things to do. One of which kill the Jaguars that are over here. And I think that's mostly it. Check off all the boxes. That's the other one. And we should be done with this. Also, before I accidentally bury this. Well, actually, you can't. Never mind. That's it. Say goodbye to the Hill Giants. See you later, buddies. See you later. See you never. Golly. Might have to do a chunk roll stream today. All right. And of course, I forgot to completely update it. Uh, but this is the screenshot right now that you can see here of the Hill Giants and the rewards we got from it. 4,490 Hill Giants total. So that's actually under drop rate. We actually got uh, slightly spoon or some would say spoon. As well as just before like the last couple of kills I did, I got a lamp. So let's just throw the lamp on Hunter. Gets us uh, about halfway, a little over halfway to level three Hunter. So boom, let's go. Let's start rolling the chunk. All right. Hopefully <laughs> I've been messing with everything for the stream today for the chunk roll stream. So that's why I have all the tasks in my inventory and whatnot. But we just got a Leo. So we'll finish this and get our lamp. Just kidding. We won't get a lamp because I forgot we still need a zombie head. Perfect for the stream. Let's wear it. It's perfect. Makes me look better. Dang. Makes me look better. That's crazy. All right. So I never recorded during the stream, so I don't have any of the overviews of these chunks, but let's just do, go through it super quickly. Chunk one, not much to do. It gives us the sword shop. Uh, that gives us Addy armor and weapon. Two gives us a passive farming grind, though that will quickly turn into part summer pie when I get to 31 farming. Also gives us a new hunter training method. Three gives us a hunter training method, actually one of the preferred chunks. Four gives us big bass, big swordfish, big shark, and 80 cooking, which would be so a minimum of 76 fishing, 80 cooking. Five, not really much here, though it does unlock the t uh, transportation back to Varrock. Six, I don't want to go there. Uh, it's got crafting to 87 from the charter ship. It's got wood cutting, um, U logs, and fire making U logs, and fletching U log. It also gives us closer to the Colosseum. Seven, probably one of the other preferred. It gives us Puro Puro in this wheat field. Also gives us an altar much closer to the south end of the chunk or uh, the island. Also, there's a person there that can heal you. Uh, I think that's pretty much it. Eight gives us a quest, some more hunter training methods. Also has a teak tree, which would be uh, wood cutting, which we already have, but fire making as well. And then number nine is free. It just has the colossal worm remains, though that'll turn into agility later. Hang on, let me just hit record. <laughs> uh, bad streamer, bad YouTuber. All right, we're rolling.
Three, two, one, let's go. All right, okay, okay. All right. This is where we're gonna be for a while, guys. This is gonna be where we're gonna be for a while. All right, everybody knows how this works. We grab the URL, throw it in here, blah, blah, blah. And the winner of the last Bond giveaway ever, Rev Imp, Cuckstar. Appreciate it, thanks so much. And uh, congrats. Let's see if they're online. And I would show you right now, but it's gonna spoil the next episode. So they're not online, but once they do pop online, I'll make sure I add it into what would be episode 10. Thanks everybody for participating in all of the bond giveaways. At this point, we're going to just stop it for now. Uh, maybe we'll come back and do it at special occasions. Like maybe when we hit 1500 subs, 2000 subs, something like that. Without further ado though, thanks for watching. In the lands of Gilinor, there lies a mystic place. Follow more where heroes roam with courage and grace. Sportus and adventurer with dreams so grand and vast He sets out on a journey to conquer till the very last One step at a time through the forests and the plains Sportus seeks his glory with resilience in his veins with sword in hand, he battles all that stands in his way. Conquering Baltimore will surely seize the day. Oh, Sportis, the conqueror of Baltimore's embrace. Your spirit shines so brightly through each challenge you face. With every step you take, you leave your mark behind. Conquering the continent, one chunk at a time.